Okay guys, so I just finished solving, resetting, and reviewing this puzzle. And I wanted to film another blurb to put at the beginning of this video to warn, maybe admonish people that this puzzle, the Loki bag of tricks or Loki box of tricks is no joke. There is a reason why it broke Chris Ramsey and it nearly broke me too. And I will say that doesn't mean it's not fun. It was totally fun. It means if you are somebody that hasn't solved this and thinks you are up for the challenge, pause this, buy this, solve this, come back and watch this and tell me whether you did it better than me. You probably did, but anyhow, let's start the video. Okay, so this video also got off to a rough start because somehow I managed to delete the first 11 minutes of the footage I had of me starting to solve this puzzle and describing it. So let me just do that and then I'll skip to the second 11 minutes and beyond where we can actually see the actual puzzle solve. And so this is the box. You can see it's laser wood engraved cut, has runes that are on the side. So it's a very cool looking puzzle. You know, it's it looks maybe not like an artifact, but it, it kind of looks like something that you might have back in the Viking days as a toy. Uh, some sort of little box that you put. Uh, a wooden lock, which has a little key hanging from these ropes, and you have to figure out how to take this lock off. And most people that see all the... And what you can see here is that I did not do a good job resetting it. And so unfortunately you're not going to be able to see the first part of how it actually works but you can see that there's this key on this thread you can't get the key out because it's put through all these holes and you can't fit these the key through the holes the key it looks like there's a little mechanism that's held in place by this that you can't really turn anything and so in order to get the key out you have to actually somehow find a way to release it from this thread so that this thread can not hold this piece in place and you can pull that out you'll see and so now back to the video oh you know what it is i think we have to go through all the holes pulling it through until we get it over here let's try that i, I don't know if this is right guys i hope it is because this could become a huge mess if i don't do this right let's see i gotta pull this up Oh, wait, wait, pull these. So I need all the slack I can get. All right, this is gonna be a pain to reset, but I guess that's the price you pay for a complicated puzzle. Although I do think there are some really complicated puzzles that have really easy resets. Maybe, that may, maybe that's what makes for a really good puzzle. Not maybe, it does. It's, you know, there's, some people find that the reset, though, is part of the challenge of the puzzle. I'm not sure I'm one of those people. <laughs> Unless it's uh, like a burr or something like that, then I get it. When it's like sequential discovery or something like this, I'm not sure I want it to be that difficult to reset. All right, I'm hoping that I'm not causing it to be a knot by the way that I'm doing this, but... I think once I get this through, right? Oh, I, I think it might have done it. I think we might have did it. Oh, ah, we did. We did it, guys. Ah, so then now I can pull that through, pull that through, pull that through, pull that through. All right, and then, oh, pull that through. All right, and then this thing comes out. And. Let's hold on to that. That might be something for later. And then this key might be for the bottom there. It doesn't do anything with this. It doesn't even fit in there. Oh, it does fit in there. Okay, I lied. I will put that aside for now. All right. Let us open this mysterious Loki's box. Oh, look at that. Really cool engraving here. That must be Loki, and that's all of his riches. And I don't know what's... Maybe he likes alcohol? I don't know. So let's see what we got here. 
Okay, let's see. Something that is not English looks like runes, but it looks like some English letters. Makes no sense to me, other than down here it says Loki is good. <laughs> is it good? Yeah. It says, my beautiful daughter, Hell. It's such a shame to see you locked down here, rotting away with all of your friends. Why don't you come and join us? And I don't know if that's a question. That's a question mark. Be a good person and see if you can find some keys to help us. And I will give you a hint towards fighting your own treasure, finding your own treasure, unless you're good enough to find it without my help. Let's see. Be a good person. See if you can find some keys to help us. And I will give you a hint towards. Okay, so I don't know if that is this where he's, this will give us some hints, but anyway. Okay, so we have, let's see. We have some holes in the side here that look like it's lock, unlock. Ah, oh, so it must be these things. So it's lock, unlock. And then we have this, which I can take out. Uh, this, oh, a bunch of little cards of sorts. And they look like kind of playing card well, some of them are like suits. This looks like popsicle, <laughs> I guess. Uh, this one reminds me of some stuff we saw in the back. So I might just take all these out because this looks like the little squares around the back. So let me just take these out for now. Let me just look through them really quick. Okay, so, all right, I'm gonna put these aside for now. But they look, let me turn it over really, oh, look at that, there's a little key hidden in there. But isn't that the same? Okay, and then we have a little arrow pointing down. Did this one have an arrow? It did, it had the arrow pointing down as well. It's the same key. I'm not sure why we have two of the same key, but I think we'll probably find out. So let's look at the back here. Okay, so if we look at the back here, ugh, we can see the popsicles are actually trees. And uh, this looks like uh, some sort of map that we can use. And you can see there's like two circles similar to kind of how those are have circles there. Okay, you can see that there's a little bit of a T at the bottom here, which means it's probably that's the down. And I'm assuming since this is that way and this way, that it's gonna be up and down. So if we look at, it has two circles there and there's a little like, let's see if we can, maybe that's a building, a little house. So if we look for houses, it looks like a little single house like that with a little patch land. But I don't, there's a single house with a patch, but nothing really fits exactly that. But then it has on the other side a little boundary, which looks like this, but it's like this side of it. So is it like whatever this is tells us which, I'll see, we have two popsicles. All right, so if there's two popsicles, is it that it could be this one, it could be this one. So it's one of two, okay. So, Let's just leave that there for now. Okay, so I think I know what we're supposed to do here. All right, so then we have a little sun looking thing, which is likely not that, maybe mountains. Yeah, it looks like it's probably one of these things. And then we have um, boundary. So it could be something like that maybe. Okay, now I think I just completely reset and I think I got a, a method. So I'm just kind of start out with one that this was the only one where there was no other place that it could go. Oh shit, now I see a place it can go. No, no. You know what, I'm gonna keep going because whatever I was doing was working out. <laughs> it was slowly working out, I think. So let's just keep going. Oh, 
Okay, so that took absolutely forever. <laughs> but I was able to find it to where they all fit in. You basically had to find on the grid where the particular element was. And there was uh, seven different ones. There was trees, grass, mountains, boxes, houses or properties, hills and borders. And you had to basically put them all in the place so that they all fit into this square. And so I was finally able to do that. And so as we can see, there's little circles on this little quadrant on the different places. And so I'm assuming that, that means letters or something like that. But I think I need to flip it back over in order to know that. Okay, so I noticed when I picked this up to turn it over and I actually looked underneath rather than <laughs> spilling them all off immediately, I found that there's two more keys. So there's a total of four keys, two more had fallen out. So this is the one that came with the uh, puzzle lock at the beginning or this little disentanglement puzzle. And we have three additional keys. And so I, I saw that there was a little place for them right here in the back, as we saw before. So I put them in there and this one on the bottom here, I actually pulled around a little bit and it got stuck to where it's locked in there. So I'm assuming this is a puzzle lock of sorts. So I'm gonna have to probably fiddle around with this. So I am gonna have to take this off. I could not figure this out. It's some sort of cipher. So I'm wondering if I need to go further along to get what the cipher means. But I'm thinking that this would probably, uh, it was stacked in the first puzzle. So I'm assuming that's what it would be for. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this off. So I'm gonna take these out for now too. This one's, the last one's stuck in there. So I can't really do much about that. But I'm gonna turn this over for now just to kind of see what I can see. So it's obvious that there is a lock and unlock thing. They correspond with, so actually when you look at this, I'm turning this now and you can see there's a little dot there that turns black when it's there and then it goes to there. So that must mean it's unlocked. Ah, so let me if I pull this out. Anyhow, let's, so this is, they're, oh, they're all locked, except for this one looks like it's unlocked now. So let's see if I can get the rest of them to be unlocked. So you can feel there's like different, oh, I just felt something move. It's like different tiers of parts of the lock. So you have to like lift and such as you're moving it. Okay, so it's still locked, still dark there. I mean, I guess we can try the other ones too. You don't have to do them sequentially. Maybe that's something you're not supposed to do. So let's see. There we go. That one's unlocked now. See? It's dark. Okay, so let's try to do the other two. Ooh, that one's pretty easy if that was right. Mm, well, it looks like it's not completely unlocked, so there we go. Now that one's unlocked. So looks like that one's the only one left. All right. So it does say on this here, see if you can find some keys to help us and I will give you a hint towards finishing your own, uh, finding your own treasures. So I don't know if these are the keys he was talking about. At first I thought it was a key to this cipher, but I don't know. All right, so you might notice that the setup looks slightly different right now. And that is because I stopped filming for about a day or two actually. And I completely moved my workshop to the second floor of my house in one of the spare bedrooms upstairs because I wanted to have my downstairs be for my science and then my upstairs is gonna be for my puzzle making and puzzle videos. But anyway, I will have to sheepishly admit that I had to get a hint. because <laughs> I spent an uh, embarrassingly long amount of time trying to make this work. And uh, I tried it at every angle. I tried it, you know, um, I tried it by turning it upside down. I tried it at, you know, trying to put the, this key in like that. 
And uh, so I contacted Martin and asked him if there's something in particular with this third lockdown. And he more or less said, that is the trick lock. The rest of them are pretty straightforward. And then that was what I needed to know. So I didn't, uh, he did send me a link to more hints, but I didn't look at them yet. And I did, but I did find out that, so I tried putting it in, up, you know, like this. I tried putting it in, you know, so this is the regular way. I tried putting it in this way, but then I realized it can't move because it needs that little circle part for the spindle to spin around. But then I thought, well, what if I put it in and then push it forward so that the spindle part's there? And that's when <laughs> magically it's solved. <laughs> And so I turned uh, turned it over and uh, saw this. And so the gates fell out. The gates of hell fell out card. One other thing that I did notice is, oh, I took this out. So one of the other things I did notice is that I wondered where those keys had come from because there was one here, there was one from the lock, but they were the door handles for this. And when I turned it over, they had fallen out. But anyway, I thought I would share that. All right, so now we are moving on. Faithful Wolf, Henkir, they've got you tied up like a dog. Such a fine beast doesn't deserve to be bound in such a way. Break the ropes of Gleipner, and I'll give you another hint. But be warned, the bindings reform. Make sure you got them all. A reform. Make sure you got them all. Okay. So. Well. So does that mean it's broken there? So you have to like, ah, uh, so I think you just have to spin these around. Let's see. And then so they're, they're, they're tied now. And we have to spin them around so that they're not tied. Then if I do that, this one locks in, so I have to do them in a specific order in order to get them all untied. Hmm. Oh, and this little thingy needs to move around because it has to allow me to do that. So I have to make sure that it's at least like that. Okay, so this could take a <laughs> Okay, I think I almost got it. Oh, it's taking a long time. <laughs> okay, so if I go here, that breaks that one. This breaks that one. Is that all of them? That's all of them. So now what? <laughs> okay, so break through the ropes and I'll give you another hint. Should I just can I lift it out? How do I get it out? There we go. All right, got it. <laughs> All right, so I guess just needed to get it up here. Oh, look at that. There's a little piece here. There's a little outline that matches grass and border. So that might come into play a little later. Anyway, next clue. All right. Oh my goodness, what is that word? For Mungander? You sly old serpent, why uh, am I not surprised to find you lurking down here? Is it just me or is this text really hard to read? <laughs> you're looking then, or you're looking thin. Have they not been feeding you? Perhaps you could find something to feed it to make it big and strong again. And in exchange, I'll give you a final hint. Huh? <laughs> what? So this looks like little pieces to a puzzle. Is this the last puzzle? Maybe. It's like a little, uh, huh. It's probably fit together like a burr puzzle. Okay, so I don't know what that means. There's no more layers, so does that mean we finished it if we do this? Okay, so it says, Jormungandr, 
will grow large enough to consume its own tail and spit its venom all over the world. Oh, see, right there, I need to make that. Okay, let's put this aside. Ah, there we go, it's a little snake. So this is like the snake that eats its own tail. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so what does that mean? How do I know how to put it together? I don't see anything to help me other than this, maybe, at some point. And then on this, we have these letters here that match this. But, I mean, could that be it? Could that be, like, you know, this has, see, these have, like, um, English letters, like A and M. So these are all the letters that he wrote out that are from the English alphabet. So there's three sections separated by this, these little, as I'm missing. Yeah, there seems to be two of those. All right, that's some sort of code I don't think I'm gonna be able to break at the moment. So let's see if I can figure this part out. So we need to make this, but he needs to swallow his own tail, which I'm not sure what all that means, but it looks like the middle stuff will be, ah, these are arrows, because look, that one's facing that way. Okay, so this one doesn't have any arrows, it looks like. Here's that sign again. So this one has arrows pointing that direction. This one doesn't have any arrows, so let's put the arrow ones together. This one has arrows, has those in that one. And then this one has arrows as well. So are there arrows I'm missing on this? No, it looks like these two pieces just don't have arrows. You know what? I'm just trying to think because when this, oh, this is the one that, this is the one we're on now, right? On this one, this is the hint he gave us. What was the hint he gave us? Because he keeps saying he's going to give us hints. What was the hint that he gave? Oh, I didn't notice that before. On the back here, there's another thing here. And so, ah, it's giving us some of the clues. I already solved this, though. Well, I guess we can find out if I did it right. <laughs> some of the clues to actually um, make sure you do it correctly. Anyhow, I'm not sure how he would do that with this unless huh unless these letters can come together to form some of this stuff okay so we got the alphabet here and you know going back this is in a circle like a snake eating its tail. So maybe that's how we figure it out is by A needs to go to B. All right. None of that is working. So I'm wondering if the arrows have more to do than the letters. So you have arrow there. I can't tell if that's an M or two arrows, but let's put it into the arrow. Okay, is there on? Oh, there's three arrows there. Why do some of them have half and then some of them are a full arrow? Okay, so these two don't have any arrows. See, this one has arrows. Ah, there, so there was more arrows than I thought. Okay. So maybe you match up the threes, the twos, and the ones. How does that do anything? So I'm trying to look at this diagram here to see, and this is not looking at all like it's supposed to. Maybe I put all the like line them up facing each other. 
So let's see, if this one is together with this one, that's K and... How am I supposed to know? The arrows were one thing, but how am I supposed to know where these go? Well, I guess looking at the little burrs. So this one. Oh no, I got it. I got that part. All right, so. That must mean how do I get this last one in? You see, there's a block down there, so then this has to fit down into there like that, but as you can see, that is not, uh, I think I probably did it wrong. I think I need to get that part back out. Because I have to get it, I want it like this, right? Like that, okay. Ah, so if I put it in like that, Turn it like that. Yes. No. Oh. <laughs> All right. So I think it's backwards. I mean, I am assuming that I even did this right in the first place to get it this far, which is a huge assumption. <laughs> so there's that. I think I got it. But how do I know? <laughs> I don't see the snake head anywhere. Oh, did I do it wrong? Gosh darn it. All right, I gotta go feed the tigers. Let me put this here for five minutes while I go do that. Okay, beagle fed. Oh, I'm not out of breath. I also try to dig up some potatoes for dinner and in my garden and uh, have a little dirt on my nails, but it's okay. All right, so I don't know if this is right. It's the right shape, it looks like, but I don't see the head of the snake, which makes me worry that I did something wrong. So the real question is, what do I do now? Because I still haven't figured out what that's about. And let's see, this is the last thing he said. Uh, so I'm wondering, does this, have anything to do with this? So like, for instance, does each letter represent the symbol there? Let's start with A. A, where are you, A? What was on here? There it is. A, okay, A, is A that or is A that? That's the thing. And now I'm Wondering. Well, let's just assume it's that. All right, so I got everything and there's only two letters Q and W that weren't on there. So let's see if this worked. Well, let's take this off and use this here. And it looks like this can't be what we're, I think it has to be this we're interpreting because same symbols so let me really quickly do this okay so i have to stop for a second because the symbols that i was picking out are backwards on here so the real question is should I turn it this way to read it? Or is there a different way for this? So I'm gonna have to start over and see if that, what that does. Okay. Okay, right off the bat, this isn't looking right <laughs> because I don't think that's a word. So I think I might have done the alphabet wrong. So real thing is, I'm gonna put this right back this way because that's how puzzle usually it, or came right side up. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to find A again, if I can. So I'm wondering if the air pointy thing is actually either T or X. Don't think it's X because it's the first one there. So it could be T. See what I'm saying? Because T would be flipped over, be arrow thingy. And in this way, it would make sense why the things are backwards because you're flipping it over. So let's try that. Uh, 
Okay, I am not gonna go any further because I don't think that that means anything. So I think I'm gonna try another way. All right, so the only other way I could think to do it is if I was to have an F there and turn over the symbol on this side and say that's an F. Oh. There is no W. And I just happened, to, so I think the two Vs were supposed to be and in like in French, it's W, not W, it's double V, which makes more sense based on what a W looks like. Okay, so that works. Okay, so two points away from the I'm not sure what this is. Slide this face panel right. Wait, turn all your, your, wait a second. I think I added a letter. So turn all four keys to point away from the something. Oh, then then slide that this base panel right away from the OAP 30Z, that's M. It is map, okay. I figured as much, I just wanted to make double sure. All right, so I think we got a clue here. <clears throat> Still doesn't tell us what this means, but it says turn all your keys away from the map. Well, how do I know which direction is away? There's an arrow facing there, so maybe it's that way. That way. I'm looking at the arrows on the keys. There's little arrows on the keys, and I'm making that go that way. Um, all right, so they're all away. And slide this base panel right. So this was like that, right? Oh, look at that. It slid to the right, but does it come out? Ah, oh, it does. Ooh, a secret door. Here we go. The fate of the gods. Loki will use the army of the dead to attack Asgard itself. Loki and the Heimdall will fight to the death slaying each other. Fenrir will devour the sun. He will fight against the chief god Odin and swallow him whole. Thor will slay Jormungdagar. He will also die from the poison in his wounds after walking nine steps from the corpse. Gods and monsters will die. The universe will be destroyed. Ragnarok has begun. Oh, joy. And then we have page with little circle. Page with circle equals, or page. Um, okay. So, what is that? Oh, here we go. We have another. This sheet must be the one with the circle. This one is the one without the circle. And then there's one. It has a, oh, does this mean that you combine them? I mean, Loki is good. Is this like the key to translating it? Why is it in a row? One, two, three, four. Nope. It's not it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's the same number of letters. This is like... Mensa level. <laughs> this is not just a puzzle. This is like homework. <laughs> I feel like I'm back in school having to like figure out proofs and theorems. We had to add these together. I looked them up in the light, didn't do anything. So do we add the two letters together like L and U? So L U. M-E, that means nothing. Lume de Wabrubr. Okay, so that's not it. What does this have to do with anything, and why does this one not have one? I'm wondering if there's math involved, because you have a math symbol there. So if we 
give each each of the uh, letters a number. So like A would be one. So L would be, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. L would be 12. And then U would be 20 something. <laughs> See, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21. So 12 plus 21 equals 33. But there's not 33 letters. Okay, I'm gonna have to go take a nap or do something and I'll be back. I just gotta give this some thought. There's, this is not making any sense to me right now. All right, okay, so I figured something out that idea that i had about adding the numbers and it being 33 because it's in like a continuous circle if you keep counting i got g r e e and so i'm thinking maybe this is the thing so i figured i'd turn the camera back on and uh, keep going and so i actually made it easier myself <laughs> trying to to, so I put all the numbers there with the, with the letters. Oh boy, guys, that was a chore. I don't know how I had the willpower to do all that. That was, that was way, that wasn't fun. It was fun to figure it out, but the actual doing of it was a chore. All right, so what it says is, greetings, Grom Athens, I mean, from Athens. <laughs> I bid you dark tidings. You have unleashed my progeny upon the world. For that, I am grateful. I'm burdened with, wait, I am burdened with glorious purpose. The end of time, times is upon us and it could not have been done without your help. Appropriate recompense can be found if you know where something, if may serve you well in the days to come, in the days to, days that remain. So, I think that alludes to the map. So I think that really was useless. <laughs> I think it, that it's telling us that the, we have to figure this out. <laughs> Jeez, I am not looking forward to this now. Another cipher. Guys, I am starting to see why this, this puzzle broke Chris Ramsey. I can see why, because I, if I was not this far, I, I would have just put it away. This is too much. This is way too much. Because it doesn't become fun when you have to sit for an hour or two to decipher something that you figured out. At least not to me, but anyway. All right, so I've gone ahead and set it all back up. And now I just need to figure out how to read this darn code. And I've got to tell you, I am very close to trying to find the hints on this because I don't know how much more I have left on me. If it was anything like solving this, that took way too much time. I don't have that in me. So let's see if we can figure this out quicker. If not, I'm gonna to have to just break down and get the hints. These symbols are shown here and there's not just plain symbols, meaning well, I guess sometimes there is, like for instance, there, there you have this one, but it can't be all these letters. And I guess I could, no, I can't do that because there's no nothing to combine it with, so it can't be the same thing as this one. Some of them don't exist, like the middle dot uh, and the lower quadrant. There's a middle dot and there's a lower quadrant, but there's not, so that means that it's two of those things. No why. Okay, so we have these four letters that are 
common. So it could be M, U, R, or W. But let's see, is there an, there's an M also in this one, so it can't be M. Is there a W in the, there's a W there, so the only one that is common for this one is U. So then this equal U. Okay, so then the one below it would be just the top one, but it would have to be one that's only found in this, right? I wish these were in order. <laughs> Why couldn't he make it easy on us? Z, R, no, F. Um, <laughs> my mind is starting to shut down already. F, there's another F there. D, no D. K, we already said K was there. So that means E is the only one there. So maybe this is right. One of the things I noticed in this last, this thingy, is that even though there was a W here, it kept on making me do two Vs instead of a W in the words. I thought that was weird. Um, not sure what, what that's about. All right, so those are the, I'm not gonna use a whole new sheet of paper for this next attempt. I just wanna see, all right, so this would be, um, oh, there's one, another letter here, so it's uh, these three. So C, N, S, C. Okay, I don't think this is right. <laughs> oh, shoot. Let's just keep going and see if anything comes of it. <laughs> oh, here we go. K. The K. K. E. Y. Key. Oh, that's starting, this is starting to get a little exciting because it's actually making words. It's not taking so long. So, oh, using, I guess the spaces don't really matter here. Panel, panel using front, front, maybe it's front panel using the key. No blanks. Unscrew. But what's FE? FE front. F -E. So let's circle this. Come back to this. This. Ooh. So unscrew the panel using the key. Oh, I got so excited I lost my place. Tools as tools. Ends as tools. So unscrew the front panel using the key ends as tools. I'm just gonna try it rather than, I don't I don't think those ones that I got wrong mean anything. Okay. I hope it's right because I'm not putting those back. <laughs> right, unscrew the front panel. So that's this. Using the key ends as tools. Key ends. Is that this key? <laughs> I, how in the world am I supposed to unscrew with this? Ah, uh, it's happening. It's happening. It's all very exciting. What's in it? What's in it? What's in the box? What's in the box? All right. No! More clues! Mother Scratcher! <laughs> oh, God. And a lock. Oh, God. I can't. Ah. Uh, 
What on earth? Oh no, no. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't, guys. I can't. This is another one of those one plus one equal two. Maybe I'll try this lock here. So. Okay, well, it doesn't do anything. So maybe I need to pull that around a little bit. No, I can't leave it like this, guys. Oh my gosh. I mean, there can't be more than this, right? Here we go. Ah, oh, look at that. That must be Loki. It says, heads, I win. Tails, you lose. <laughs> oh, that's a fun ending. So this is his treasure? Why the heck is that a treasure? That's maybe for him it's a treasure. Anyways, guys, I just do not have it in me to solve this one here. I found the treasure with this key. I think I might look up on the hints what this means. It's prob I, I'm hoping there's no more puzzles. I just don't have it in me. This took way too long to the point where I almost gave up because it's just the actual act of doing all of these letters one at a time was pretty excruciating. So I'm not gonna do that. Let me reset this. If I find the hint that of what this means, I'll let you guys know. Okay, and so there is the reset puzzle except for the little loop-de-loop -loop thing. I have no clue to do that. I'm gonna look that up, see how to reset that. But I did look up the hints for that last part of the puzzle that I just did not have the heart to solve. And I'm glad I didn't take the time because that would have been a bear and it would have broken me. That would have been another broken puzzle solver on the internet. But the last, uh, this is what it said. It said, congratulations on discovering the location of my treasure. I could use a qualified lieutenant of your intellect. Discerning where and earning it are two very different things and you may have more to do before acquiring it. My children guard your reward, so if you wish to claim it, you will need to release them for their confinement. Uh, release them from their confinement. So I'm glad that I didn't take the time to do that because all that told me was that I needed to find, to use that lock to get it open, and I did that anyway. But anyway, that was, oh, how do we say this? Uh, it was challenging. For sure, I can see why Chris Ramsey broke. <laughs> I can see why he broke. That was taxing. And you know, it wasn't, uh, what I'll say here is brilliant puzzle. The solve was super challenging. It had an array of different puzzles. It actually, that burr part gave me an appreciation for burrs. Now I'm kind of thinking I might want to go back to the burrs I have from like Juno and stuff and start solving those because that actually was fun for me. Uh, that part I really enjoyed. I enjoyed the little dog puzzle where you had to use logic to try and get the sequence. I enjoyed even the map, even putting the map in the, the right area and stuff. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed deciphering as far as like figuring out what meant what, but what I did not enjoy was the lengthiness of the messages because it became almost work. Martin did a fantastic job with this puzzle. The theme is awesome. The way it looks is good, even though I'm not a huge fan usually of these laser cut things. He does a great job decorating it. Even the finishes, like the lock and stuff, look actually of the era. So I gotta say for presentation, this is a 10 out of 10 for me especially for this type of puzzle and the price point of this puzzle, which I believe is just like less than 200 bucks. Anyhow, highly recommend this puzzle for those who are patient and up for the challenge and willing to sit over many different sessions to solve it so that you don't get frustrated. Definitely worth it. You should pick one up, you should do it. And even if you can't or you won't, I hope you enjoy solving it through my eyes. 
And if you did, if you could like, subscribe, ring the bell, and if you could click through to another one of my videos right after this, that would really help the algorithm. So until next time, I will see you later and goodbye for now.